Hello my fifth grade mathematicians. This year we're going to talk about volume. But before we can talk about volume, we need to realize the difference between a one, a two, and a three dimensional shape. Today we're also going to review the formula that we use to solve for the area of a rectangle. Let's talk about our dimensions. The first one being a point. It has no dimensions and it gives a specific location. A line is a one dimensional item or shape. It has one dimension, one straight line. A plane is a flat shape that is two dimensional. A solid figure is a three dimensional shape. It usually pops out at you. Think about 3D glasses when you go to a movie theater. When you wear those glasses, the items on the screen start to pop out at you. That's the same thing as this cube right here. It is popping out of the paper. Now let's practice. I want you to be able to tell me if the shape or item is a 1D, 2D, or 3D shape. What about this triangle? Is it 1D, 2D, or 3D? Very good. It's 2D. It's a plane. In this case, it's a triangle, and it's flat. What about this shape? Great job. It is 3D. Even though you see a triangle, there are dimensions that give you height. It pops out at you. What about these stacks of books? Are they 1D, 2D, or 3D? Awesome! They are 3D. They are popping out at you. They are not flat. It would be kind of weird if we had a flat book. Then there would not be any pages. What about a piece of paper? Is it 1D, 2D, or 3D? Great job! It is 2D. We can actually see 2D shapes in real life. This paper is flat. It has no height. What about this ruler? Is it 1D, 2D, or 3D? Awesome! Yes, it's 2D. It does not have a height. But, you can make a 1D shape using a pencil and a ruler. Notice this person is drawing a line and we know that lines are one dimensional. Now let's review the formula for area. The area of a rectangle can be found by using the length which is the long side and the width which is the short side. When we multiply the value of the length and the value of the width we can find the area the inside portion of our rectangle. Let's look at an example. In this example, they give, give us units. If I count the units on my long side, I should have seven units that make up my length. When I look at my width, I count one, two, three, four units. So this rectangle is four units wide, and seven units long. Each unit has a length and a width of one centimeter. We have one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter. So this unit is considered a square. It has four equal sides, each equaling one centimeter. Now to find the area of this rectangle, I would take the length times the width, seven times four, and it will give me an area of 28. We cannot forget our units of measurement. In this case, they are measuring in centimeters. And remember, we are counting the units or squares inside our rectangle. So we have to put 28 square centimeters. Now I want you to practice. You're going to tell me the length, the width, and the area of each rectangle. What is the length and the width of this rectangle? Great job! 
the length is 6 units, the width is 2 units, and I know that I can use my formula length times width, in this case 6 times 2, and when I multiply 6 times 2, you should have gotten 12 square units. Now let's try another one. What is the length, the width, and the area of this rectangle? Awesome! The length is 7 units, the width is 4 units. When you multiply 7 times 4, you should have gotten 28 square units. In today's lesson, we were able to differentiate between 1, 2, and 3 dimensional shapes, and we also learned to solve for the area of a rectangle using our formula.